This is an antenna modeling project in which we're going to model the 10 meter dipole antenna. First, we start the Managal application. We notice that we have the geometry view, calculate, and far field plots tab. What we do is we go to the geometry tab first and we select name and we give our project a name 10 meter dipole. Second, we select under frequency the operating frequency of our simulation, 28.5 megahertz. Third, we highlight the X1 cell and hit enter. Notice that Managal uses meters. So next we put minus 2.5 meters for the Y1 coordinate and for the Y2 coordinate, positive 2.5 meters. So that's what we're going to try to simulate. We go on the view tab and we notice that that's our antenna. We hover over the middle point, we right click and then add source to the center of the wire. We get this red circle in the middle of the wire which corresponds to a source according to the legend. Now we go to calculate and we check that our ground and ground setup is at the default values. We don't change anything there. We select the material to be copper wire and we notice that we have a height of 17 and a quarter meters. So now we're going to start the simulation and the simulation has ended and given us an SWR assuming a 50 ohm feed point of 1.62 and the resistance at the feed point is 64 ohms, which is good. Now we select far field plots and we get the azimuthal plot on the left and the elevation plot on the right. And azimuthal, of course, is what we would expect of an antenna that's along the y-axis here. Broadside to the y-axis or on the x-axis is going to be our maximum radiation. And we notice here the elevation plot that over here it's the peak is at 8 degrees and at 5 degrees we're getting still a very good 6.1 dBi. At 8 degrees is 8 dBi. It's a relative gain that we're seeing here but it's definitely telling us that this antenna is a very good DX antenna. Clicking on the elevation button, we can enter 5 for the far field elevation angle and click OK. And we see that the only thing that's changed is the azimuthal plot. Again, giving us that the information that broadside to the antenna, we're going to have the maximum uh, radiation. If we click then on the 3D fast Fourier, we get this complicated pattern for the antenna and we see there that uh, this is the lobe that's going to be doing DX for us. We also have these other lobes and including this cloud burning lobe here. But a lot of our energy is giving us uh, a very good DX uh, capability here. If we go there, we can actually see the, ele the elevation plot as we saw it in two dimensions. It's symmetrical. Uh, along the, uh, the radiation axis. It's, in other words, giving us two lobes in that direction, and all the other ones sort of pancake above it. So this is a good antenna to try out, and that's what we're going to do. And again, our SWR at 162, resistance of 64, geometry minus 2.5 to 2.5 meters, and uh, the elevation, or, sorry, the height, we're, the program is, program is telling us that at 17 and a quarter meters from previous work, we know that that's the value. This is going to be an optimum height for this antenna. And that concludes the modeling exercise.